Shield Maiden, it's wonderful to see you this evening. Yes, I couldn't agree more. This is a perfect night to celebrate Yule on. Truly, we have been blessed. Have you been inside the longhouse yet? Oh, you must see it. The Yule tree looks amazing this year, and the fires are roaring, candles and lights. It's perfect. Me? Oh, I'm just out here getting some fresh air. Admittedly, it got a little hot and loud, so... I took a second outside. I know, a viking who steps away from the heat and the loud. And somehow I survive battles. It confuses even me from time to time. I'm so glad you were able to come out and join us. Oh, yes. This is our most important celebration of the year, and everyone should be in attendance. Tonight is a night where the gods bless us with their magic, and no one should miss out. Oh, I think we're only about an hour away before the children are sent to bed making sure to put their shoes outside. How else will Odin leave them gifts? <laughs> I could not agree more. Sometimes... Sometimes I miss being that young. There was an innocence to the world then. Oh, I'm not saying that the world doesn't have, you know, magic in it, but to be a child then and that sort of belief, I do miss it sometimes. Oh no, the main festivities haven't started yet. We haven't lit the Yule wreath. We haven't made the straw goats. You missed all the boring talking and speeches. Soon enough the true festivities will begin. And the true festivities, the ones that we Vikings come for all the time. The drinking, the feasting, and the singing. And probably a couple of good fights because, well... It's us. What's wrong? You look a little nervous. You're here by yourself. Well, that's no problem. Many of us are. I am. Oh, yes. You know my story. No brothers, no sisters, and my parents passed years ago. I have my shield brothers and sisters, of course, but it's not like I came here with anyone. Eh, I can understand that. Being the daughter of a famous shield maiden, and a shield maiden with quite a legend herself you must get a lot of comments questions people begging you for tales and to join them for a drink mm, 
Well, how about this then? Stay with me tonight. At my side. We can drink together. We can sing. We don't have to deal with anyone we don't want to. Tonight we can be each other's family. But of course, I would be honored. Come on. <laughs> Torbjorn cannot drink the way he used to. <laughs> I know, right? The way he hit that wall. I thought he was going to go clean through it. <laughs> ah. Speaking of, can I get you another drink? I could use one. Come on. The meat awaits. I love this time of year. Special brews of meat always come out with just the right spices. Mm. It's perfect. Uh, Tormund's special Yule blend. I look forward to it every year. Speaking of... You've never had it. By the gods, we have to rectify that. Take this. Skull. What do you think? I know, right? Sweet yet spiced. Truly the drink of the gods. Sometimes I worry with the way we party and revel down here that Tor himself won't show up and try to one-up everybody else. <laughs> well, at least we would have offerings for him. Straw goats. In honor of him and his. I can't think of a more apt way to welcome a god. I suppose if you put me to it, I would prefer Tyr, or maybe Frigga, to show up. Well, it's nothing personal against Tor, but I'd like the Longhouse to be standing in the morning. <laughs> exactly. Fun as the gods may be. I would prefer a little more calm. Oh, it looks like they're getting ready to light the Yule wreath. Shall we go outside? Oh, I don't know about you, but I plan on taking the mead with me. <laughs> Uh, the Jarl always gives such good speeches. <laughs> Skull. Ah, I love this time of year. No worries, no violence, nothing but the magic of the winter. I love the winter. It's quiet. 
It's beautiful. You can appreciate the world in a whole different manner. You don't have to get lost in the endless green of Norway. Instead, you have so much variety and difference this time of year. What the heck? Uh, well, looks like two of them got caught under the mistletoe again. <laughs> Well, it's either a fight or a kiss, and uh, I don't think those two are going to be kissing anytime soon. <laughs> no, no, no. They'll go for a bit and tire themselves out. Nothing to worry on. Sorry? I appreciate you spending the night with me as well. This has been a far better Yule than I could have hoped for. Oh, I enjoy every Yule, but let's face it, at a certain point you find yourself sitting alone at a table drinking everyone with their families or loved ones. It's, it's a bit much sometimes. So... Having someone by my side is nice. Well, I'm glad to be able to help you as well. Should we think about another round of mead? Aye. The night's still young. There's still plenty of mead, meat, and merriment to go around. Shall we? After you, Shield Maiden. <laughs>